confirm some things with you. He wanted you to hear this, so it's not an accident if you watch this video. You're watching it for a reason. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys, and this has been on my heart for the last month or so, and um, I've discussed it a little bit, but what do you do when you know that God told you something, or you know that God showed you something, or he spoke something to you, and then you feel like other people um, who are supposed to be Christians, they don't believe you, people in the church don't believe you, and then you feel maybe that you're second guessing yourself because unfortunately, there'll be people who uh, you look up to and you go to them and you say, God told me this or God showed me this and they kind of brush you off to the side. They don't take you serious. And there could be a lot of factors behind why they do this. They can brush you off because of your past. They can brush you off because they don't believe that you're on their level. You know, it could be an arrogance on their part where they think, you know, God is only speaking to them or they just don't take you serious. <clears throat> and this is actually a problem for many people because what happens is God will instruct you to do some things and you don't do it because you're looking for somebody to cheer you on. You're looking for somebody to co-sign. You're looking for somebody to validate what God already told you. And so one of the tricks of the enemy is to get you in this place where God has already told you to do something but you're looking for people, you know, to really give you the green light. All right. And when you do that, sometimes people are not going to be able to see what God showed you because God's not going to give them the revelation that he gave you because he just wants you to take him at his word. <clears throat> so I want to testify to you and give you guys a couple of real examples. Now, first thing I'll say is this. God is definitely spe speaking to his people through dreams, through visions and even an audible voice. Some of you are having dreams, some of you are having visions. Pray about those things, you know, don't ignore it. Don't think, oh, I just, you know, had some bad Mexican food, you know, or something and I went to sleep and had a dream. Pray about the dreams and the visions you have. Now you have some people in the church who will say, oh, God's not speaking anymore. Everything we need is, you know, right there in the scripture. And the scripture is a good way to confirm things. But the Bible says in the last days that we're gonna have dreams, his visions, he's gonna pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And then reality of it is just the fruit, right? So I've told you guys many stories of how I heard God in an audible voice uh, when I was going to kill myself. When I was 12 years old, there was another incident. The Lord told me to go hide behind a car when I was about 14 and I didn't do it. And these guys came and jumped me. There was another incident when I was in South Korea, you know, where the Lord told me to wait and not get on the first bus, but get on the second bus. And it was clear as day. He said, wait. And so I didn't get on that first bus and I got on the second bus and I ended up meeting this lady at the bus stop and, you know, it was a divine connection and I ministered to her. And I mean, she just broke down in tears. I remember she, I was, I was uh, hugging the sister and she was just shaking. She was just crying. And she was like, I knew this was God. There was another incident. I remember the Lord said, he told me that somebody was going to call me through Facebook messenger. And he said to pick up the call. This was in South Korea as well. And I, man, oh, I remember this guy called me like an hour later and he just started crying when I picked up the phone uh, because he said he was about to kill himself. And he said, God, if you're real, if you're real, give me a sign. If you're real, show me that you're real. And and he, he said, he's, I'm gonna call this guy Marcus Rogers and if he picks up, I know that you're real. And I remember God told me like, hey, this guy's going to call you. But I want to share with you guys some more recent um, incidences where, you know, God has told me some things. And I know, you know, some people don't believe me, whether because they're religious or they don't agree. Even when I told people that the president was going to be the president, you know, people didn't believe that. Like God told me President or Trump was going to win. And so here's another example recently. Um, and I'm going to tell you this because, you know, it challenges people's perspective. People are out here really misre misrepresenting God because they don't really know his voice. Uh, it's sad that there's people in the church that are attacking other people in the church and they're claiming that they do it on behalf of God. But really, they're just attacking other people who don't line up with their preferences or point of view. And if you don't line up with their preferences or their point of view or you step outside of the box that they're comfortable with, then they say, you know, you're not from God. And this is a problem. This is something that God is not pleased with. So I'll give you uh, one example. I'm gonna give you three, but I'm gonna give you this first one. 
I was driving in my car after dropping my kids off, right? And usually I'm in my car and I'm worshiping and, you know, I'm singing these songs to God. And that's why I have like these worship instrumentals and things like that. And I remember I was just worshiping and I just, I felt the presence of God so strong. And I began to say these words, my God is a big God. My God is a great God. And I was saying the words because I was thinking about all the tests and I was thinking about all the trials and storms that I've been through in my life. And I was like, man, God, you have just been so amazing. And as I begin to say it over and over again, it's like the light uh, filled my car and it was so bright. And in that moment, it was like clear as day, the Lord was telling me, I want you to record this. And I was, I was worshiping, but it was like, it was a rap. I just kept saying that my God is big, a big God. He's a great God. And as you guys see, you know, I'm gonna go to the next point. I'm gonna talk about a relationship. But as you guys can see, that song ended up blowing up. But God told me weeks before by just shining his light in the car. And if I tell anybody that, they say, oh, no, that that that's not God, you know, because, you know, they have their preferences. And God does not like that because people are out here misrepresenting God. All right. You're saying, man, God told me this. God, God showed me this. But because it doesn't line up with their feelings or their preferences, they reject it and they crucify a move of God. All right. Uh, the second time, I'm giving you guys this quick example before I get to the last one. I was just recently in the studio, and usually when I'm recording music, when the beat comes on and I got the headphones on, I always say, Lord, you know, just give me the anointing. You know, let this be anointed. Let this, you know, serve a purpose. And I remember I had like my whole plan, my whole little strategy. You know, I'd wrote down my notes and things for how the song was going to go. And when I said it, the Lord told me, change it, you know, and, and I just, Lord, I need that anointing. I need that anointing. I need that anointing. That's that song that we just recently posted. And there's these guys that came in the studio and they heard it and they weren't, they weren't saved. They weren't Christians. I mean, they were from the street and it spoke a language to them that touched them. Now it might not speak to you and it might not speak to somebody else, but God in that moment, he spoke to them through that song because that music is like different languages. That's why some people like it. Some people don't. Some people receive it. Some people don't. Right. But once again, some people will not believe that. Now, the last incident I'm going to tell you guys about that was recently I highlighted some of the other ones. I was in a relationship and the Lord told me clear as day to let that thing go. And when he told me that, and I told other people, they didn't believe me. And matter of fact, a lot of them, they were really, really against it. But it was like, I knew that God had told me to do that. And I have found out so many times in my life that God has told me to do things and it seems like nobody agrees. And then I just have to do it. And if I don't do it, man, it's like, it gets worse for me. It's like a Jonah in the well kind of thing. Like if I don't do what he, I know he told me to do, you know, I'll go through something where God would just kind of spank me and then he'll put me back on track. And that's why it's so important for you. You have to know the voice of God. You have to know that, man, the Lord told me this and I can't doubt it. The Bible says a double man, a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. If God is speaking to you, if he showed you something, you got to hold on to that thing. And you say, Lord, I don't have a lot of people who are agreeing that you, you told me this, that you showed me this. But I got to obey God rather than man. Don't let people steal from you the instructions and the orders that God has given you. We all have an assignment. And unfortunately, sometimes people are not sensitive enough to the spirit are because they only have their vision or what they had in mind. They are not able to receive, you know, what God has showed you or what God has told you. So you need to have that in the back of your mind, my brothers and sisters. So I just wanted to share these things with you. There's been so many times where I know God told me to do something. You know, I told you guys about the, uh, the drown myself video where I put my head in the trash can people, people say that wasn't God. God's not speaking. And I have that on, a lot on YouTube. People say, who does this guy think he is? He's always talking about God spoke to him and God showed him this. I'm telling you what, 
God is speaking to some people and, you know, religious folks, they're going to miss it. They're going to miss it. And you don't want to be one of those guys. You don't want to be one of the ones who miss the, the voice of God, you know, and, and the move of God because you're not sensitive enough to listen when he's speaking. The last piece of advice I would give you is, you know, praying and telling God about your day and what you're going through and what you want is fine. But sometimes when you pray, you got to just take time to just be silent and to just kind of sit there and just listen. Just be quiet and just listen. And he'll speak. He will. And I love you guys. You guys be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful day.